Hello everybody, today is February 26, 2024 and I'm going to take you to do something that I very rarely do at a place that I haven't been in a very long time. We're going to have brunch at Disney's Old Key West Resort. So let's go. Disney's Old Key West is obviously themed after Key West, you know, given those vibes. So this is actually Disney's very first DVC resort. And as I was driving in, the landscaping is so lush and gorgeous. So I've already checked in on the app and I should get a text when my table is ready. Olivia's Cafe is a great brunch spot, especially for those days that you want to start off with a nice hearty meal, really, really absorb yourself in the vacation vibes. They do have dinner also, just no lunch. If you're visiting Disney World and you want some beachy Florida vibes, this is the resort to do it. I love the netting over the ledge here of the boardwalk. Very, very, it's definitely giving Key West vibes. Okay, I got a text, the table's ready, let's go in. Oh, it smells so good out here, by the way. I am so ready for this. And this is definitely Key West vibes. All they need are like dollars stapled to the ceiling. Okay, I've been seated and here's the menu. They definitely have some Keys type of tropical food like shrimp cocktails and hush puppies. They even have some breakfast cocktails. And then they have also traditional normal breakfast bacon and eggs and all that stuff. Okay, let me think about this. I got a cappuccino and they made it a mocha and they put a chocolate Mickey on top, super cute. I don't want to disturb the Mickey, but I've got a stir. Cozy. When you visit local restaurants in the Keys, you will often see family photos of, you know, the families that have been going there forever, but these are old Disney World family photos. There are some boats mixed in there too. The 2000 over Spaceship Earth. How cool is that? And then when you enter, they've got a conch shell. So another nice, I mean, it's a ceramic conch shell, but there we go, we've got some conch shells. A nice piece of the keys. Everywhere you go in the keys, you're gonna see conch shells. Governor Cobb steamship for Key West Havana, 1929. First turbine propelled commercial ship built in the US. How cool. And they even made a plaque for it, the Governor Cobb. Very cool. As y'all know, I was born and raised in Miami. So I was basically born and raised in the Keys. We went to the Keys all the time, especially Key Largo, but this definitely gets the thumbs up as far as like giving that vibe, giving that feel, and all the details that they placed in here to make it feel like you could be somewhere in Key West. Even the colors. The soft aqua blues, all the nautical touches. Nice. You'll definitely see art like this everywhere in the Keys. The first hardest thing in the world is getting a conch out of its shell. The second hardest thing is getting a conch out of Key West. It's like what you would see on the front of a boat. By far the most popular item on the menu here is the southernmost buttermilk chicken. You can get it as a brunch item or as a lunch item. As a brunch item, it comes with scrambled eggs, Olivia's breakfast potatoes, and a biscuit. Or for the lunch, you can get with mashed potatoes, southern gravy, biscuit, and seasonal vegetables. It looks really pretty and I love this strawberry. It looks like a rose. I feel like it's giving Beauty and the Beast kind of vibes and I love it. Let's go ahead and give this a go, right? Okay, I've gotten a few bites in and the chicken is so tender and so juicy. The gravy complements it so well, but it doesn't overpower it. It's savory, it's got this slight bit of sweetness in it. It is delicious and the breading tastes great. Let's try the potatoes, they look cheesy. They look like cheesy, very cheesy potatoes. Potato. Oh, so much cheese. Ooh. Yep, the potatoes are soft and cheesy, you get a lot of cheese in each bite, and they're very, very good. They're not like those crispy breakfast potatoes, they're like a soft, very soft, tender breakfast potato. Now let's try the eggs, a quintessential part of this type of breakfast. The eggs are good. They're the kind of scrambled egg that's like one piece all connected together, sort of, but they still taste scrambled, nicely mixed, very, very soft, and 
almost, I don't want to say meaty because that's weird, but like a piece of meat, almost like a soft, tender piece of egg meat. If you know where I'm going, you know where I'm going. As I'm getting more and more into the chicken, this is a boneless piece of chicken. It's got a delicious taste to it, very kind of savory, and there's a little bit of sweetness with the gravy. The gravy is just delicious. It's thick and southern. It all goes well together, complements each other. I can see why this is such a popular dish, and it's a signature dish here. One thing I love about this besides, you know, making me feel like I'm back in the Keys, like home away from home, is that it's tropical and airy. There's lots of light. There's beautiful nautical colors like light blue and creamy yellow, but it's also cozy. It feels just really cozy in here. The cast members, the staff are so kind here. They're so welcoming. They make you feel right at home. It's definitely like, hospitality, southern hospitality mixed in here. And they told me that the chicken is brined overnight in buttermilk and you can tell. And also that the breading is like a simple flour breading, very simple ingredients. And that the cheesy potatoes have some leek in them and that gives it that little bit of tang. Almost like an oniony flavor, but very soft, much more gentle than straight up full on onion. But you can taste it in there and it is just delicious. A really hearty breakfast. It just feels luxurious like a luxurious brunch that you can have before a nice relaxing day. I could see doing this on a day where we're taking it really easy, going to the parks in the afternoon, or maybe going back to the hotel pool after this, because I feel like that would be uh, just the best day ever, maybe going to the parks at night. My recommendation for a day that you'd have like a leisurely brunch here would be to stack your lightning lanes if it's a park day, later in the afternoon or into the evening, and that way you have a lot of time to luxuriate throughout the day. And I did ask about the fan, and one thing they told me is that this is custom made, so if any piece needs to be replaced or repaired, they, it has to be custom repaired. This looks like brass, these look like palm fronds, and it's all running on this like pulley thing over here with these wheels. It's beautiful, it gives it sort of a turn of the century, early Florida feeling and I like it. These photos are all DVC family photos from like the early days of this resort, by the way. And right behind my table here on the wall, this that says Sunset 534 Mallory Square. If you've ever been to Key West, then you know Mallory Square is the place that people, especially tourists, go to watch the sunset and it's so fun and Usually, or at least they used to, blow the conch shell and everyone would cheer and clap at sunset time so it lets you know, you know, what time is sunset. Obviously that changes at different times of year, but I, I would like put this in my house. I love this. There's even a little backstory about Olivia. Her name is Olivia Farnsworth. She was a local who made really good food and had people coming by. And eventually she had so many visitors that she opened her own cafe, which is a haven for locals and a must visit for out of towners ever since. If you are an annual pass holder or if you have DVC or if you're a cast member, you can use your discounts here too. So I'm a pass holder and I'm gonna get a pass holder discount on it, which is always nice. That was a great brunch and a great way to start the day. And now I wanna walk around and explore and check out the details and the theming. It is such a gorgeous, sunny, beautiful, keezy feeling day today that we'll walk around, like check out the shop and the lobby and see what Old Key West is all about. Look at this cute little China tea set too. Oh, I love it all. All right, let's go explore. There is also outdoor seating here and a bar. Woo! The bar here is called the Gurgling Suitcase, Libations and Spirits. Very cute. I love how everything feels kind of vintage. Look at these tropical colors. You'll definitely find a lot of buildings in these color schemes in the Keys. There's also a quick service here. Goods, food to go. And you can get Olivia's Cafe to go mobile order too. And then there are picnic tables with tropical colored umbrellas where you can enjoy your food and drinks. Oh my goodness, look at this day. This is the pool. Just gonna take a quick look from the outside. Obviously this is for use if you are staying here, but it looks Amazing, I wish I was in there. This is inside the pool area and it is very pretty and looks like there's a sauna over there too, which you know is my favorite thing. A hot tub, jacuzzi, whatever you want to call it. It's my favorite thing. They also have the Surrey bikes that you can rent and ride around and I've seen a ton of people riding around in them and I like that they have this shade too because it gets very sunny here. 
You can also rent bikes and ride around and that is very, very Key West. That's one of the big activities to do there. Look at how nice this is, oh my gosh. Tennis courts? So this being a DVC resort, everything is meant to be homey and to accommodate families. So they have larger suites here for families. A lot of Disney hotel rooms tend to be on the smaller side, so if you have a bigger party, you can stay here. And you do not have to be a DVC member to book and stay here. You can book it like a normal Disney hotel room. By the way, if you don't know, DVC is Disney Vacation Club. It's kind of like a timeshare thing where you buy into it and you own at a certain resort, but you get a certain allotment of points for the year and then you can book at other resorts too. There are a lot of blogs out there explaining what DVC is if you wanna know, but I am not a DVC member but I can book DVC rooms and so can you. And I am very tempted here because this is gorgeous. Look at this. Amazing tennis court. Look, they even offer private tennis lessons. You can call it a book. Obviously I'm sure for a charge, but like that's cool. Look at this massive sand castle structure here by the pool. This is so cool. And a giant like pail and oh my gosh, I love it. There's a playground here. I'm just kind of strolling around and it just keeps going on and on and on. It's all sandy and beachy. This is the best. Look, hammocks. Look, Disney Old Key West Resort family tree. Is this the family tree? Yeah, look, it's like a family of palm trees. There's an open hammock. Let's sit in it for a minute. The original Polly's Island rope hammock handcrafted since 1889. Hammocks are always like embarrassing to try to sit in, right? It's always like an ordeal. Okay, let's try. This is very nice and there are people sleeping and laying down in almost every hammock. And I read about this tree. I looked it up and this tree was planted when this resort opened and as it grows it's supposed to signify the growth of the DVC family. That's really nice. There are relaxing boardwalk areas everywhere to sit and hang out, enjoy the view, enjoy the sand. So this resort opened in 1991 and it was called Disney's Vacation Club Resort and it was Disney's first vacation club resort. As we've seen, the buildings have those beautiful pastel colors that you'll see in the Keys, the gingerbread architecture. There is this waterway back here that feels like the Keys water because even though when you think of Florida, you think of beaches, anyone who's been to the Keys knows that the water there is different depending on which side you're on, the Atlantic or the Gulf side. It's more waterways like this than blue sparkling beaches like you'd see in Miami. So it definitely gives it that Keys feel. And these waterways also, by the way, have boats that take you to Disney Springs, which is nice. The lobby is called the Hospitality House, which is lovely. And we're gonna go take a look in the lobby. And I also wanna take a look in the shop and see what resort specific merchandise they have. Okay, let's keep exploring. Earlier when I was talking, there was a group playing here and they were having so much fun and cheering, there's all sorts of games everywhere and it smells like suntan lotion right now. I feel like I'm straight up on vacation. <sighs> Sitting in that hammock, I was bacon. I was bacon for a second there. <laughs> I, had to, I had to walk into the shade. It feels amazing. It feels like a tropical getaway. Just being here and walking around and it's also getting me in the spirit of my birthday weekend that's coming up this weekend. This is in front of Olivia's. This is an outdoor patio. And look at this cute detail. And the Mickeys! And the chairs look like shells. Very cute detail also. The seats are the color of the ocean, sparkling aquamarine. We're gonna look in the Conk Flats General Store in a minute, but first, let's take a look in the lobby. It's very crowded in here. We'll just have a quick look around. Oh, the um, Reedy Creek Fire Department's here, so we'll just... Keep, keep a distance from that, but something's going on. Looks like they're handling it well. It's a really small lobby. There's just a few desks. They're checking people in. Everything is like beautiful carved designs, glass and light and wicker. Oh, what ship do we have here? Uh, the Dream. This was the first Disney cruise ship we ever went on and I will never forget it. It absolutely is a dream and I hope we can go on it again one day because <sighs> What's this? There's something here in a glass case. Oh, cool. Uh, the Santa Maria 
Aero Marine Flying Boat circa 1921. Cool. I love things like this. There are a lot of pin trading options in here. So the DVC desk has their own pin board. Let's see what we got here. Some really interesting. I like this. I'll be your Mickey cute. All right, the awesome DVC peeps here help me to remember that this is Mr. Dairy from Kitchen Cabaret. And I think he was released as part of, right, like a 50th anniversary when they released some retro stuff. We're just here talking about it. And that is such a cool one. And then the resort has their own pin trading boards too, with even more. If you spot Orange Bird, take a photo with him and head to Community Hall for a button. They have their own pressed pennies. Two Aladdin and one Old Key West. Okay, Reedy Creek Fire has cleared out, so we can take a look at more of a lobby here. This cozy bookshelf. And fireplace. And the gorgeous carvings. Fish and fishing lure. And pens? Vintage pens, I guess. Very cool. There's a display here of the Key West Electric Company. First electric trolley car system, 1898 through 1926. And you can still take trolleys around, not the same ones, but there are trolley tours, like ghost tours and stuff. Here's a model of the Florida East Coast Railway. And if you've ever driven the Seven Mile Bridge, you can see the old bridge that the railroad went on and it is very scary and very beautiful. Feels so nice to be here. Okay, every resort has a gift shop and this one is the Conk Flats General Store. Let's go explore. Look how pretty. Oh my gosh, this is so cool. Oh, the license plates, Old Key West, and all sorts of going to WDW. And then there are really cool DVC bags and merchandise. So they have a trivia in the lobby. And I remember Drizella, and I needed a little clue to remember Anastasia. I don't know why, because Cinderella is one of my favorite films. But you know, the sun is frying my brain. That's my excuse. But I got it, so then I get to ring the bell. Oh, that was loud. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, that was really fun. And they have a lot of cute merchandise. These look like orange, but they look like grapefruit slices. An old Key West license plate, tropical flowers. These are gorgeous. Ooh, they've got some of the Disney 100 stuff on sale. 50% off, are you kidding me? <gasps> that is cool. So of course it has like sundries and stuff like that for if you're staying here, you know, restock on stuff. A lot of old Key West merchandise. I'm gonna wait until we stay here before I load up on it. Not dishwasher safe. See, come on. It's 2024. Let's make everything dishwasher safe. Am I right? Look at how pretty this ornament is. Mickey and Minnie, a little canoe. Beautiful. And on the back, this is Disney's old Key West resort. That's gorgeous. Look how cute. This looks like a lighthouse. And there are big lush towels too. Oh my gosh, I want everything. Look at these gorgeous beer glasses. Gurgling suitcase, sips a day away. Only $15.99. And they say Old Key West Resort and DVC owner license plate. And a koozie. They even have their own resort magic band. Magic band plus, might I add. Beautiful design. And they have this beautiful vintage nautical theming everywhere. They did a great job. It's beautiful. Even the fans. They also have a whole section of Disney Vacation Club DVC merchandise. These ears. They've got a map in the middle. Also, I found Orange Bird. So that means I get a button. Let's go collect it. Cool. In front of the general store, there's a mailbox, and it looks like, yep, it's a real mailbox. You can send mail so that it's sent from here at Old Key West. It looks like one of the Disney Springs boats is here. Let's take a look. This offers water taxi service from Old Key West to Disney Springs and back. 
gives you the hours here. They have a green flag. So if you wanted to visit here and just shop and walk around and you didn't have dining reservations, you could take this ferry from Disney Springs over. And if you're staying here, you take this ferry to go shop and dine and hang out at Springs and come on back with your own personal boat. This one's called the Florida Queen. Florida Queen. I like that. I like it. It's my birthday week, you know? Let me have it. Y'all know I collect these Disney transportation cards. They are free. You can ask at any form of Disney transportation, like the boats and the buses and all of that. And they will give these to you. They used to have them specifically, so I would have loved a Florida Queen one. But now they just have generic ones that say Sasagula River Cruise. And they have some fun facts on the back. And they're so nice about it always. And off they go. Nice. Sasagula Queen. If you're looking for Orange Bird, the rule is he's a cardboard cutout. He's gonna be in this main common area. He could be anywhere from like the laundry room up to Bell Services. He's probably gonna be up high because if he was on the floor, someone might trip on him or walk away with him. He's a little cardboard cutout. And he was in the store today, but he's in a different place every day. They move him around. So let me go collect my button, my prize. In the Conk Flats Community Hall is where you can rent the bikes, the Surrey bikes and all of that and do activities. Oh, there's tons of fun activities. St. Patrick's Day. You guys are ready. How cute. Look at this mural. This is adorable. Here it is, but this is actually a multi-day activity. So the first time you find him, you get this button. The next time you find him, you get a sticker, another sticker, another sticker, another sticker. And when you find him, I guess five times, then you get a special photo op. So if you're here for a multi-day stay, this is a fun activity to do for the whole family. My collection of freebies today, fun. When I tell you that it is boiling out today, it is so warm and wonderful, I hope that it stays this way through the weekend. I really, really hope. Wish me luck, I'm knocking on wood that it stays this way. You hear the tropical steel drum music playing. It was in 1996, just a few years after they opened in 91, that they changed the name to Old Key West and it became what it is today. It has undergone some refurbishments through the years. So just like a lot of the DVC resorts, and that makes sense just to make them a little more clean, a little more modern. But in this resort's case, I think they kept the feel, the atmosphere, the vibe, the Key West tropical, cozy, laid back. Like you walk in and you just feel relaxed. Even right here in the porte cochere, <laughs> this thing that you drive in to drop off and check in and whatever, you feel it. As soon as you enter the beautifully manicured, parking area. It's like all your stress just melts away and you are on vacation. They did a beautiful job with the landscaping here with tropical plants and flowers. These beautiful coral colored hibiscus. And this, I think this is mangrove lily, but it smells like gardenia. It has that very clean, fresh, perfumey scent. It just transports you. It's amazing. I used to have gardenia flowers in my yard and I'd smell them every day. And here comes a bus to take guests to Hollywood Studios. And they'll take you to every park from here. This resort is huge. It has a bunch of different neighborhoods and it has big villas that can hold more guests than your typical Disney hotel. See, the rooms here aren't rooms. They're villas. They're vacation homes. Look at how gorgeous. They have one, two, and three bedroom villas with full kitchens, washer and dryer, bedrooms, living room area. These are spacious and they are meant to feel like a home away from home. And that's kind of the point of DVC. You can see some of these buildings from Disney Springs if you look across the waterway. And there's just golf carts everywhere and stuff going on. There's a running trail. I have been to this resort before, but it's been many, many years, and I've never stayed here, and this has absolutely made me want to. Like, I have influenced myself. <laughs> I just came today to have the brunch and walk around and, you know, do one of my little casual tours, and I have sold myself on this resort because I definitely want to stay here now. This is awesome. So 
fun. Everybody's so nice. All the cast members that I met and talked to were so sweet and warm and welcoming. And I guess that's that DVC touch. And the fact that you don't have to be DVC to stay here, I like it. I like the conch shells on the signs. That's just wonderful. Well, I hope you enjoyed this little one day mini tropical getaway vacation here at Disney's Old Key West Resort, the original Disney Vacation Club Resort with tropical Key West, Florida vibes. Like I said, I grew up in Miami right next to like 45 minutes from Key Largo. So we went to Key Largo all the time. Upper Keys, as we called it. We'd go down there for lunch, hanging out. Some of my family had boats, some would fish, different things like that. You grow up in that atmosphere when you grow up in the southern part of Miami, like I did. And this definitely brings back those home vibes. And also this resort just feels very homey and welcoming because of that DVC vacation club atmosphere. It's like welcome home, your family here, whether you're staying here or just visiting to dine and shop and explore. And that's one of the cool things about Walt Disney World. There are over 20 resorts and guests can come here to dine, to shop, to explore. I had a dining reservation at Olivia's Cafe, so I told them at the gate, showed my ID, and was able to park here. If you don't have a dining reservation, sometimes they'll let you park. Just, you know, you can always ask, but sometimes they will not. It just depends on the day. But you can park at Disney Springs and take a Sasagula water taxi boat thing over here. And it's just a very few minutes, and parking at Disney Springs is free. So if you don't have dining reservations and you want to come here to hang out, explore, shop, whatever, soak in the vibes, that's one way you can do it. I can definitely recommend Olivia's for brunch. I was also eyeballing the omelet if you wanted something more simple, but I got talked into getting the buttermilk chicken because that's our signature item. That's the most popular thing on the menu. That is like the thing. And I'm glad I did because it was delicious. Tender and juicy and flavorful, really well made. And just the cast members were amazing here, looking for Orange Bird, talking with them, joking around, getting information. Thank you to everyone who was so nice today. So like I mentioned, this is my birthday week. There are some big things this week, and then we're working on something fun for this weekend. We'll see, we'll see what we do. But either way, hopefully you are there with me to see what we do, so stay tuned. Thanks for hanging out. I'm sending you a ton of love. I'll see you for the next video. And until then, as always, 